In this video, I am going to attempt one more time to explain how individual riser heights can be created for odd shaped or funky stairs. I've had a couple of viewers asking me questions about this. So most of the viewers understand how to figure out the risers for a straight set of stairs. And that can be done by counting the number of each individual riser. And in our case, we have 10 of them and then dividing 10 into the total height or the total rise and this will be the distance between the lower floor and the upper floor and in our example we are going to have 70 inches for our total rise and if we divide 10 10 individual risers into 70 we get 7 inches and 7 inches will be our individual riser height and now you're probably wondering why do I need to do any of this and you don't you can simply multiply the amount of risers to find the height of a step or you can use a story pole and I have another video on that also and I don't recommend creating what I would call a riser ladder here however if you need to something like this can be done on a sheet of plywood or a couple of sheets of plywood just simply nail whatever plywood you need to some of the wall framing studs or use the shear panel if you need to and the benefits of having something like this will be to provide you with the top of the riser height for example, if I have seven inch risers, I can simply multiply seven times three to find out the height of the third step. However, if I'm dealing with fractions, maybe 7.3 or 7.37584, then it might be more beneficial to create a story pole or a riser ladder like this one. That way you can simply grab your tape measure and measure from the top of the floor to the top of the fourth tread. Instead of doing any type of math and when it comes to complicated fractions or long fractions something like this might provide you with a good way to handle this and I'm not about to suggest that you build a stair ladder out of whatever materials and then use it like this however this is just another way that I can use to explain a little bit better how this might work and if each one of these lines represents the distance between the steps and our distance is seven inches then you can see here how a stair ladder an imaginary stair ladder hopefully will provide you with the individual riser height location from the top of the tread to the ground and again a story pole will work just fine if you understand exactly what you're doing with the story pole so again you're looking for the individual height of each step off of the ground then you could probably do it with a story pole a little bit easier than you can with one of these riser ladders and here you can see where one foot nine represents 21 inches or three times seven so again is it going to be easier for you to use a calculator or a story pole or do you need to take it a step further and create some type of a riser ladder like we have here that will represent the width of the stairway along with the top measurement for each step and this could help you a lot if you're having a difficult time figuring out the overall height of a particular step or a landing and in my opinion I think this is where people get a little confused and the illustrations in this video might be a little helpful by rotating our riser ladder 45 degrees to create a few more points of reference that you can use as a beginner stair builder or even a professional who might be having a difficult time imagining all of this stuff inside of the brain and hopefully this makes sense if you are going to add another crazy step to your crazy stairway by creating the reference points again if for whatever reason they are needed and hopefully by now you are starting to wrap your mind around this because this is going to be the last example I'm going to use for our project here and by now you should understand how to get the height of 
each step by either multiplying or using a story pole or even with your stair riser ladder. So hopefully this makes a little more sense to those of you who are having a difficult time once the stairs are no longer straight to figure out the individual riser height or the overall distance between the top of the floor and the top of the step.